The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello guys, welcome to the Salesforce Career Guidance by Interlogic, your school of Salesforce on YouTube platform. So in this school, today, for five minutes, we are going to learn one very important lesson. Part number 10 of Salesforce real-time scenarios and scenario-based interview questions. Let us see how you should answer this kind of questions. So let us go for the question number one. What will happen if we undelete junction object? So when we undelete junction object, then initially the master detail relationship which was present, it will be converted to lookup relationship between those two objects. Next question. What will happen to child records if we uh, delete parent record in the lookup relationship as lookup relationship is a loosely binded relationship nothing will happen to the child record and this way no impact on child record next question what will happen to child records if we delete parent record in the master detail relationship so master detail is an example of strong binding so in this case the primary record master record is deleted child record also will be deleted by using the effect called as cascading delete let's go for next question in minute to many relationship if we delete parent record then what will happen to child record many to many relationship is formed by using the master detail relationship so it's having strong binding so if master detail relationship is going to provide cascading effect same with the many to many and that's why even child record will be deleted in many to many relationship. Let's go for next question. What is grand access using hierarchy in Salesforce? In the role wise access in Salesforce, if you want the junior person's data to be available to senior person in the role hierarchy by using role access, then grant access using hierarchy checkbox should be selected. If it is not selected, then a senior person in the role cannot see data of a junior person in the Salesforce data or in the Salesforce system. So this way you can answer all these questions in the interview. And that's all with the part number 10. Let's meet, the, meet in the part number 11 in the next video. Till then, good luck for your upcoming interviews.